What's up guys, it's LegendX Jonah and today I have another reaction video for you guys. Today we're going to be reacting to the Mortal Kombat 11 Aftermath official gameplay trailer for Shiva, Fujin, and Robocop. Now they said last week that we're going to be getting it early this week, but for some reason we're getting it on Wednesday so I don't know their definition of early this week. But I've been excited and ready to see how these characters are going to play, especially Fujin. You guys know I've wanted Fujin for a very long time now since MKX. So I'm really excited that he's finally back and I'm really curious to see how he's going to play, and of course, Shiva and Robocop as well. So, of course, if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to drop it a like to help support this channel. But let's go ahead and jump right into this reaction video. All right. Excited. I hope Fujin has some really cool fatalities. And, of course, we're going to get to see some really cool intro dialogues. So you're Raiden's brother. We are partners in Earthrealm's defense. Are you also partners in incompetence? Oh, awesome. So we're going to definitely be hearing more about them two being brothers. Okay, he has a little slide. So I think it's kind of crazy that he has his swords now. I have the sword now. He had one in the Armageddon, but it's like a tiny sword now. Oh, that is so freaking awesome. I see he has a lot more, like, he has a lot of air attacks now. What in the ten hells are you? The future of law enforcement. Oh my gosh. Robocop being in is still so, so different for me. Okay, so is that like a counter? Okay. Okay, so he's going to have like a whole arsenal to part. Yo, okay. We got a little bit of spit of blow. Oh, that is awesome. So if you miss the opponent, he can actually like come back and hit him with a kick. Okay, of course her traditional ground stop. They added the crushing blow to that's awesome. I really dig the skin that Fujin has. It's like an anime like hairdo. Yo, that is dope. Oh, awesome. So she actually has a fire attack too. Yo, low-key Robocop can do a lot. Like, he has a lot of gadgets. Yo, in a flamethrower too? Yo, he has his crossbow! Okay, fatalities. Oh, stage fatality. Oh, shit. Oh shit, she ripped the skin off. Okay, some of these gotta be stage fatalities. Okay, that's badass. <laughs> Oh man, gosh, okay, I'm definitely sure that some of those are stage fatalities, not the actual character fatalities, but man, the ones they were, were pretty fucking awesome. Oh, okay, so they did change, okay, quick note, they changed uh, Scorpion's MK9 costume by giving him the white eyes, I just wish they would've did the same though with Sub-Zero though, gave him like his classic white eyes, but no, that, that was awesome. <laughs> That was really awesome. Like, a lot was going on, though. So, definitely want to go back, look at it again, to see if I can catch anything I didn't catch before. But they definitely showed off some awesome fatalities. Of course, stage fatalities as well. And, of course, we got to see a lot of the different moves that they they're going to have. Like, Robocop's going to have, like, a lot of different moves in his arsenal. Like, oh, my gosh. Like, 
He can block projectiles, counter melee attacks. He has a flamethrower, grenades, stun bombs. Like, good gosh, he has a lot of stuff he can do. Okay, let's definitely go back and watch this from the beginning. Fujin is so hype. <laughs> oh my gosh, I am about to be maining him day one. Yeah, and I definitely see that they're going to be making more of an effort to like mention how they're brothers in like intro dialogues. But uh, it's kind of interesting though seeing Fujin with like the little tiny sword now compared to like the big sword he had in Armageddon. Because the way he's using it kind of makes me think of how Kenshi uses it in telekin um, Telekinesis. Okay, that whole combo in general was just freaking amazing. Like, So I see that they're definitely going to be having him able to do like a lot of in air like attacks and i think that's kind of it's kind of cool because it kind of makes me think back to like the old days with like armageddon and like i'm pretty sure you can do it in deception too you would fight in the air whenever you're fighting against your opponent okay hold on let's hold on i'm gonna mute it because i know it probably sounds crazy but this combo like, the fact that he can just fight in the air like that, that is, like, really cool to me. And I gotta know, like, there's a later part in the video where he actually, like, starts doing that kick thing. And then he misses the opponent, but he can turn back around and still hit them, though. That's pretty cool, in my opinion. Yo, Robocop is low-key kind of dope. I actually, I actually think I'm going to play around with him a lot. And that stage fatality that they're going to have here, I really love that. <laughs> I would just finish him. And then his Fatal Blow. His Fatal Blow is pretty cool. kind of wish they showed off everybody's entire Fatal Blow. They kind of like show, showed segments of it. I feel like for it to be the full uh, gameplay trailer, this should be showing everyone's complete fatal blow all the way through. And I love that Shiva, of course, has her her ground stomp again. Okay, I think it was this scene right here where he does like the kick thing and comes back. All right, nah, different scene. Yeah, that stun that stun grenade is gonna be freaking. Great tool to use with him. I just want to know like what moves are going to be in each of the variations they're going to offer. Personally, sure we're going to get some kind of comeback cast breakdown though right before we get the DLC on the 26th. Terminator versus Robocop though. Who would have ever thought we would have been able to see something like this? You know, I am actually really excited that she's back. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got Fujin's Fatal Blow. Now, this is awesome because I, I was wondering when I saw the sword, why they didn't give him his crossbow, or at least his staff, but we're actually going to get to see his crossbow, and we actually get to see his crossbow here in his Fatal Blow, and I think that's pretty cool. I wonder if he's going to have any fatalities using it. Or even brutalities, honestly. Maybe they might actually have some moves they can use, though. Oh, that is so cool. But like I said, I really wish they would have just, like, showed off everybody's fatal blow. But, like, throughout, like, show the full thing during this trailer. I feel like that's something they should have did. Okay, then we have this part where we get to see the stage fatalities in fatal blows. Okay, so that's the one thing I'm kind of curious about as well. So I'm I'm guessing this is a stage fatality. Like I I can't see why it would not be a stage fatality. But at the same time, though, when everybody does this, is it gonna be like any and every characters picking up that picking up that arcade machine? Because the way Shiva does it, I don't know. It's like this this fits her so well. <laughs> okay, I think this is an actual fatality. 
This looks really awesome. This is an actual fatality. This is also an actual face. She ripped the skin off her arms. Like, the whole time I'm sitting here thinking, oh, she's going to pull her arms off. You know, that's some traditional Shokan stuff. She pulled the skin off. That's disgusting. This is an actual fatality as well. Which, honestly, his fatalities is really awesome, in my opinion. This is a stage fatality. And then this is also a fatality. I think we're going to have three fatalities. That's three that they've shown for him. Yo, that's a fatality as well. That is badass, though. I actually really like that fatality of all the ones we saw. I think we're going to be getting three fatalities, though, because if I'm, pr I'm pretty sure I counted out three fatalities for Robocop. Hold on. Let's go back and take a look. Okay. So there was this one he did to the Joker. And then there's this one he did to Johnny. And then there's the last one that we got to see on Baraka. I'm pretty sure those aren't stage fatalities. Those are definite fatalities. So we might be getting an additional fatality for every character in MK11 now. Unless they just for some reason decided to give Robocop three fatalities. Which would be pretty stupid in my opinion. I think honestly every character should get another fatality. But man, they they went all out with these three characters. Robocop actually has me pretty excited though. Like, you, if you guys know me, I'm not that big on guest characters. Personally, I'd rather have MK characters as DLC, but Robocop actually looks kind of fun. And then of course, I've been waiting for Fujin forever. So I'm so excited. De definitely, like I said, day one main. Can't wait to try him. And the Shiva looks awesome too. I definitely want to play Shiva as well. She was actually a character I used to love to play back in um, Mortal Kombat Trilogy. But what do you guys think about everything that you saw in this gameplay trailer? I'm actually really, really excited to finally get my hands on these characters on May 26th. So me personally, this was a hype trailer. Definitely A1. But what do you guys think? Please be sure to let me know all your thoughts down in the comments below. As always, if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to drop it a like to help support my channel. And of course, check out my channel for more Mortal Kombat 11 content and everything about Mortal Kombat. This is Legend X Ronin, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hey, we got Fujin. Oh my god, I've been waiting for Fujin since MKX. Yo, he has like a sword now, like I wasn't expecting that. Okay, we got Shiva.